up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today's video is about the new Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is my personal favorite um, cosmetics line and basically all of the history of cosmetics so if you want to see my review for this and a demo on this look right here which I'm obsessed with by the way um, keep on watching if you want a chance to win one of these guys make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe I am going to be putting up three-year anniversary giveaway on the 12th of August so you want to be around for that because there's a lot of good stuff in that also, I'm doing a back-to-school giveaway this year, and that's also coming this weekend. Woo! All the giveaways, all at once. Be subscribed. Alright, now that I've spoken a lot about it, let's get right into the video. Alright, you guys, I'm obsessed with these palettes. If you don't know, Soft Glam, Modern Renaissance, Subculture, all some of my favorite palettes. Um, Norvina is the latest installment, and this is the creative director, or um, like basically the face of Anastasia Beverly Hills. She's amazing. She's such an inspiration. I literally look at her stuff on the daily. She's amazing. So if you don't have her on Instagram or follow ABH at all, you really need to. I will link them below. You need to check them out. Um, but when I first saw this palette online, and if you haven't seen it yet, this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. The purples and pinks in this palette like perfectly fit Norvina and her lifestyle, or Claudia, which is her real name. Um, but she is absolutely amazing. Like when I see it, this soul color here and this pink color, Wild Child, I just immediately think of her. She is so amazing. She has this classic purple hair, which is basically the color soul right here. And it's she's literally my biggest inspiration in makeup at the moment. So definitely check her out. And let's get into this review because I'm so excited to talk about this palette. So one of the main things that caught my eye when I looked at this palette was the fact that it had all mattes on the bottom and all shimmer shades on the top. So you get 14 shades in this palette, seven mattes and seven shimmers. I am so stoked about this. Um, if you wanna see what their previous layouts have been, there's been more shimmers than mattes or more mattes than shimmers and they've all been kind of intermixed together. But I love that they're divided in this palette. It just flows really well for me, I think. And it doesn't give you, like, it gives you the set looks of four that you could do here. But it also, you can make these work together really well. Like today I use Soul and Love and then Celestial and Wild Child and Passion. And it created such a gorgeous look that I'm so, so obsessed with. Um, so definitely get your hands on this palette and if you can definitely enter my giveaway that's coming out this next weekend I will link it below in this video once it comes out um, But yeah, I'm obsessed with this palette and let's watch it for you guys This first color is on the bottom row is base. You're not gonna be able to see it very well um, but it's basically just a cream shade that you can use on the bottom next up is soul which this this shade right here like basically describes Norvina in a nutshell to me. This is her, like when I see her, this is the color that I picture her like aura to be. She's absolutely amazing. Um, but it's such a pretty like pur light purple shade, but it's also got a little base color of blue in there too, I think. And it just is so, so gorgeous. Next, we got the shade Incense. Now this color is gonna be one of those perfect, um, slightly warm transition shades. For you guys, I love the shades like this. These are the shades I use in my everyday life. Next up is the shade Love. This shade, I opened the palette and I instantly fell in love with. It's, hence the name. Um, it's just a gorgeous light pink shade. Sorry about that awful swatch by me. And it's got kind of coral undertones to it. It's just so, so gorgeous. I feel like it's, get, like it's going to be so flattering to so many different skin tones. So I definitely am, that's my favorite shade in the entire palette right there. Next up, we have the shade Volatile right here. I haven't used this one yet, but it's gorgeous. And I think it would make a really good like outer corner shade or make your lower lash line really really pretty i think it's got a little bit of a purple hue to it when i look at like the base tones of it it's really really gorgeous actually and it's got a lot of depth to the shade next we have the shade eccentric this shade reminds me of baby puke and i love it 
It's absolutely gorgeous. Next is the shade I used to kind of deepen up the look today. It's the shade Passion right there. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, um, very deep burgundy shade, and I love those types of colors. So I'm going to do this, the, all the shimmers on this arm, starting out with the shade Dreamer right here. This is like a classic highlighting shade, I feel like, and it's really soft, the formula is. It looks um, like a champagne, but with a little bit of a peachy undertone to it. Next is the shade Summer. And it's a very, very pretty coppery gold shade. All super reflective. The next is Wild Child. I'm obsessed with this color and I have it on my inner corners today. It's a super reflective pinky, um, like kind of maybe a little bit of a gold shift in there. And it's just absolutely beautiful on the eyes. Next we have the shade Rose Gold, which I believe is in another palette it might not be but it's really gorgeous and I love it like look at that that's just beautiful and from what I'm seeing in all of these colors is they have so much depth that it doesn't look like one flat color on your eye it looks like a color with a lot of dimension which is gonna make your eyes pop even more next up we have the shade celestial which is another shade that really reminds me of Norvina herself another purpley shade Absolutely gorgeous and again, it, it's got a lot of depth to it. It's not just a purple shade It's got a little bit of pink in there. It shifts a lot and I really love it. Dazzling is the next one That is that color and finally we've got the shade drama which is a very deep deep purple shade and it's super gorgeous I think this shade this type of shade is really hard to formulate, but they did a really really good job with it it's very soft. All of these shades are very soft, very buttery, very pigmented, and super easy to work with, which I love. So that's all the shades swatched. I do very bad swatches, so I'm apologizing ahead of time. But those are the swatches. I am obsessed with this palette, you guys. It works super, super well on the eyes. It does have a little bit of fallout, but honestly, I'm not a person that gets really picky about fallout at all. I'm a fan of subculture, if that tells you anything. So now that I have basically overviewed the palette and swatched it, definitely stick around to watch the demo of this look right here. I'm obsessed with it. These shades work super well, but thank you again so much for watching and let's get into the demo. All right, you guys, let's get right into this demo. I'm clearly very excited to have this palette. I am starting off by using the shade Love, and I'm going to run that all over the crease, making sure to also hit the inner corners and outer corners of the eye to add depth and dimension. Next, I'm going to be taking the brush that comes with the palette and the color Soul, which is one of my favorite colors in this palette, and adding that over top of where I just put the shade Love, mixing them together to get a deep purple shade. I then flipped over to the other side of the brush to get a more um, deep effect, using the flat side to pat it on and then blending it out with the fluffy side. I found that this had a better coverage. Next, I'm taking a Luxie blending brush and taking the shade Passion, which is a deep burgundy shade, and placing that into the outer corner and inner corner of my eye and slightly connecting it over the center of my eyelid. And while I'm doing this, I'm managing to blend out everything as best as I can so everything flows together beautifully and it all looks connected. Next up, I'm taking the shade Celestial and I'm blending that onto the center of my eyelid and also making sure to blend it into the inner and outer corner of my eye so everything looks as one and nothing has a gap. Next, I'll be taking the shade Wild Child and putting that on the center of my lid to get a little bit of a pop of color in the center. I wanted to bring forward the eyeshadow a little bit more and make everything look a little bit more out there. Moving on to my under eye after I finish the rest of my face makeup, I'm taking all the shades that I just used and blending them onto my lower lash line. I started out 
with the shade Love, then moved into Celestial and added a little bit. Actually, I moved into Soul, and then I put Celestial on just on the center of the lower lash line, and then I picked um, the shade Wild Child to highlight my inner corners. I thought it would give the look the extra oomph it needed, and it turned out really, really beautiful. And then in the end, I decided to also add the shade Soul on my inner lash line. I wanted to have a little bit more um, of a pop of purple on my lower lash line, and so this did the perfect effect. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am such a big fan of this palette, and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get entered in that giveaway coming on the 12th of August for my three-year anniversary slash 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm so, so excited, and make sure you stick around for that back-to-school giveaway as well if you are a fan of school supplies, because I am, and I got a lot of stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, do all the stuff, do all the things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!